In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy existing Spring Boot microservices on IBM Cloud Kubernetes using IBM Developer Tools. We'll use a typical Spring Developer workflow to create a REST service using the Spring Initializer. The actuator dependency provides a health endpoint that will be used in the kube deployment. After unzipping the project and opening it up, we're going to add a simple REST endpoint. Now let's run it real quick locally just to make sure it works. Looks good. To deploy the app to the IBM Cloud, you'll need to create a kube cluster and install the command line interface, including the IBM Developer Tools plugin. At the end of this video, you'll find instructions for all that. Now we'll use the IBM Developer Tool Enable command to generate everything we'll need to push this app up to the cloud. It identifies this as a Spring Boot application. The host name is for Cloud Foundry deployments. It might take a couple minutes, so be patient. We're going to fast forward here. We can see that it added a bunch of files to our project. Of particular interest here is the Docker file and also the Helm charts. Before deploying to the cloud, we have to run the developer tool build command to set up a few things locally. You'll need the cluster name to deploy it, and in this case, the cluster name is my cluster. Now we can issue the deploy command to push it up to the cloud. On the command line, we're going to specify the name of the cluster and also the image name. Okay, we now have our Spring Boot app running on our Cloud Kube cluster. We can see that we have a deployment and a service. To invoke our REST endpoint on the cloud, we're going to need the public IP of the worker node and the public port of the Kube service. Nice and really easy. Let's take a quick look at some of the files that were generated. First, here's the Docker file, and then in the Helm charts, we have a deployment YAML and a service YAML. I hope you found this useful. For more on running Spring workloads on IBM Cloud, please visit our Spring at IBM page. For more information on setting up an IBM Cloud Kube cluster, a registry namespace, and installing the command line interface, see these web pages.